Hey guys, Jonah here, once more upstairs in the study doing a beer review for you guys. Uh, and this one's going to be the first uh, of a pair of uh, reviews because they're very similar. Um, and I have been back at the Home Bargains Cheap Shop. I will be doing some other beers, but I bought a brace of beers, so I've done a few and uh, yeah, a couple more to go. And this is the first one. It is tailgate peanut butter milk stout which is absolutely genius and it says it's the tailgate uh brewery but i'm not 100 percent sure because um well i'm not sure it's 5.2 percent apparently it says though so they are uh, it's a five five a three five five, which is American um, sort of thing, and it says brewed in Canada, Tailgate Beer, Nashville, Tennessee. But when you go online, even on their own website, they don't seem to have a five point two percent offering for this beer. So maybe it's um, maybe their twelve ounce can version. Uh, which is what this is. Is that right? 12 ounce? Something like that. 12 ounce, I think. Uh, the other ones are 16 ounce, or I think, or 18. I don't know ounces, man. Um, anyway, it doesn't seem to be the right percentage because um, it's stronger. If you get it on draft, especially, it's 5. Point, I think it was 5.6, 5.8%, something like this. But I couldn't find reference to this. So maybe this is a special export one purely for the UK and that's what I'm going with um, but anyway slightly bigger can than we usually get which is good the American cans and the uh, the Australian cans are both larger uh, than our Ponzi European 330 33ml uh, 33 centiliters 330 god what am I talking about I don't know not enough drinking, that's what I put it down to. <laughs> but anyway, we've got a milk stout with peanut butter. And the other one, the other beer, is by the same brewery, but it's got a, it's the same kind of beer, but it's got a different addition. There we go. So this time, peanut butter milk stout with a cow on a flatbread of like that looks like a Toyota, but I bet you it isn't uh, because it's America. Um, so whatever their flatbed trucks are, who knows? And look at that lovely, dark, jet black stout. More than one, but less than two, finger and a half. Lovely, lovely tan looking head. I can smell it from here. Oh, just ridiculous. We don't seem to be able to make beers like this in the UK. So here we go. Bit of a silly face. And that will be the front of this video. The peanuts are so much there, as is the kind of sweetness, the milkiness. Which is ridiculous. Let's have a look. Let me try and get this more in focus now that the the thing is empty. Um, oh, it just says a Surgeon General, blah, blah, blah. Ah, look, imported by Heathwick International West 8. So that might be why it's slightly different. Uh, barley, wheat, oats, lactose and peanuts, as well as the normal hops and yeast and water. Wow. Thank God it's got water in. It would be... Uh, Dangerous if it didn't. So we have got lots of additions and it sounds like it's actually got peanuts in there. <coughs> and it definitely comes across on the aroma. Let's dive in and give this one a little taste. Cheers and beers, guys. So, up front, 
the sweetness really kicks in. As well as the milk kind of milkiness to the lactose, because lactose does two things. Obviously, it's residual sweetness. And in a milk stout, that's what you want. But it also gives a, a little bit of smoothness, creaminess that obviously comes from milk. Um, then we're getting the peanuts. And it's when you get that taste, it's weird. When you eat peanuts, whether they're salted or not, um, you get that weird taste in your mouth of peanuts. And it, it makes you, your tongue wants to go to your uh, teeth, your back teeth usually, and dig out the pieces of peanut left in your mouth. I don't, I haven't been eating peanuts, I've just been drinking beer. Ooh, pardon me, but I find my tongue was going looking for pieces of peanut that obviously weren't there because hmm, they're in there. Peanuts, peanut butter especially, also has that kind of creaminess. So the fact that this is a peanut butter uh, stout, I mean, it does everything that you would think of peanut butter and stout. The stout itself is a wee bit thin for my liking, um, especially with pastry stouts. And this isn't really, this is a milk stout, but it is quite sweet. Have usually have that kind of thick unctuousness as part of the actual beer. <coughs> Whereas this one is a little bit thinner, but the taste is absolutely gorgeous. If you like peanuts, you'll like this beer. For me, perhaps a tiny bit on the sweet side, um, but yeah, that's a minor thing. Look, we even have a sort of tide line here. If I hadn't done so much talking, we'll see if we get another one. I hope we do. Ooh. Yeah, look. we're definitely getting tie lines. They're not hanging around. They're sort of dripping down the glass. And I don't know if you can see, but there's definitely some sort of oily sort of residue stuff that's kind of sticking to the side of the glass, but kind of going down, which you do get sometimes from beers. You get it more when you're drinking whiskey. Um, obviously, you don't get a tide line. But you get that kind of sticky oiliness that's that runs down the side of your glass and i've noticed you do get it in certain beers and this beer is definitely doing that now i probably should say along with this one we have the other version of this that i found in the same shop i won't tell you exactly what it is but when I looked at the Tailgate Brewing website, they also have peanut butter and jelly or peanut butter and jam, as we'd say in the UK. And I couldn't find that one, but I have got another iteration of this very beer, um, which I am going to drink next and review for you. <coughs> if I do it later on today, I will upload both of them on the same day, but I'm not guaranteeing it because I'm not sure when I'm going to upload the video. Oh, Jesus. And there's the third tide line down, a little one down at the bottom, which is really, really good to see. That is a really fine beer. So if you have a home bargain shop in the UK, anywhere near you, I would highly, highly recommend getting these. They're only in small cans, I totally get that. And um, they're only, yeah, 5.2 it says there. Look, I don't know if you can see, but the little pictures of peanuts sort of embossed into the, um, into the label too. QR code if you want to find out about tailgate brewing. 
which I also suggest you do because they're quite interesting. Um, but really, really cool beer. Nothing like, you know, super strong like that banana um, stout that I had from Vocation. Whoa, that was like by far the most epic beer I think I've had this year. But that is a really nice beer and not too expensive. I think it was around two quid, maybe maybe two and a half quid, something like that. Imported beer from America and it's quite an unusual beer. And I'm still searching in my teeth for peanuts that I know, my brain knows are not there because I haven't been chewing peanuts at all. Wow, pretty epic. Anyway, guys, hopefully you've liked this video. If you're still here, can you do me a favor? If you liked it, of course, click like down below. It really does make a difference. One click, as they say to you, means a lot more for us at this end. So please, can you do that? And if you wanna find out about this other beer, why not think about subscribing to the channel? We're gonna have lots and lots of beer reviews coming up through 2023. So why not join the Joiner Army and we'll go searching for beer such as this one. We've got lots more beers to be drunk. Guys, cheers and beers. We'll see you real soon.